A four-stage Juno rocket stands at Cape Canaveral, the countdown for launching a race against the clock toward the last moment when it can hurl its payload across the moon's orbit and into outer space. Less than a day earlier, a previous attempt was scrubbed. Now, every electrical circuit rechecked and the fueling completed, the 60-ton Juno is ready for firing. Launching is slightly flawed, 95 miles an hour short of the planned peak velocity of 24,985 and its trajectory two degrees off. But the speed is ample to escape the bonds of Earth's gravity. The trajectory close enough to send the payload pioneer forth within 38,000 miles of the moon, a quarter of a million miles away. The burned out first stage, an intermediate range Jupiter, falls away. And the second stage, a cluster of 11 solid Sargent rockets, takes over within minutes of the launching. The third and fourth stages, also solid fuel Sargents, carry on, accelerating the Pioneer, a 13 and a half pound instrument package, to a speed that will carry it into a course around the sun, the newest planetoid of Sol's family. En route, the 20-inch long Pioneer radioed back valuable new data on the recently discovered twin bands of radiation that circle the Earth. Another device that worked perfectly, the weighted de-spinning cables that arrested the rapid rotation of the Pioneer as it passed the moon. After a year of experiment and effort, four prior failures, the United States sends its first rocket payload into interplanetary space.